Hey YouTube, I just picked up an Aquatop AF300 filter. Um, thought I would do a review, so that's coming up next. Check it out. Alright YouTube, this is Brian again, coming at you today with a product unboxing and review. Um, today I've got in front of me here the Aquatop AF300 canister filter. You're looking at the box right now. says that it's rated for uh, or suitable for an aquarium up to 90 gallons. It's rated at 317 gallons per hour. That's the flow rate. A um, couple of nice things about it is it's got um, this new one-touch automatic priming. There's a button on top. I'll show you that later so you don't have to pump or, or use a priming uh, button like some of the other canisters. Um, it's got uh, a couple of different um, options for your return. It's got a UV sterilizer. And it's got these new soft, soft touch controls, uh, um, different than what their their old canisters had. Um, and it comes with filter too, or filter media too, so that's cool. But um, I thought I would uh, check it out. I got this for free. Um, I wanted it in a raffle actually at uh, the Minnesota Aquarium Society uh, fish show last weekend, and. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a try. I'm using one Aquatop already, the old version, and it works great. They seem like a, kind of a, a lower standard, lower quality filter than say a Marine Land or an Eheim or a Fluval. However, they do a good job and they're, they're priced that you just, you just can't beat the price on them. So got this one thinking it was the same thing and I didn't even really realize, but if you look, um, if you're used to the old Aquatops and Sun Suns, it's you know kind of a white, gray, um, canister. Well, this is completely different. I think they're trying to go for the look of like the the FX5 if you look at the colors, obviously. But um, whatever. Um, as I started out, um, taking a look at everything, I thought this is probably worth a review because it looks like they've really improved their product. And so I thought I would just go ahead and kind of unbox it, show you guys what all you get, set it up, and then kind of let you know how I feel it's working on the tank. So if you want to hang on for a second, I'll go ahead and show you what comes in the box. Okay, so I pulled the canister and the, um, the parts box out of the main box just so I don't have to bore you guys with all that. So, <clears throat> kind of show you a, a few of the things that kind of stuck out to me right away here. Um, the first thing is the canister itself. Um, the, uh, the soft touch buttons on the top here for um, your vacuum power and I believe that's also the prime and then the UV um, power right here. Um, you've got, uh, you know, your inlets and outlets right here, um, but it's got um, four, four uh, flaps or attachments, and uh, you take it off, and you can see the the UV, and then the impeller inside here, and then inside you've got uh, the cover. The first tray has a polishing pad, and they call it a phosphate pad. Whatever, never really heard about heard of that before. But then, then it's loaded with uh, some bio media, more than enough, which is cool. Um, the Aquatop I bought in the past didn't have any media in it, um, but I think um, there's different options on eBay and Amazon when you buy these. Uh, carbon, which uh, I won't be using, so we'll just get rid of that. I'll be putting more bio in here. And then um, the uh, bottom tray that's got uh, two different coarseness of, uh, of uh, foam pads. So um, I would, I guess I, the one thing I will say after opening this up now, I, I guess I would like to see four trays in a filter of this size. Um, you know, I use Marine Land a lot, like I've talked about in my videos, and they, um, their filter that would be comparable to size in this, the C360, does have four trays, but. Um, if you're not worried about chemical filtration, you can you can have two two trays full of bio and, and everything should be good there. So, so we'll just set this back on top. Um, the uh, I don't want to say bulkhead or power head, whatever you want to call it. The the it attaches right here. Looks pretty nice. I've already attached the hoses as you can see, but they've got screw-on um, attachments. It's labeled in and out and um, it attaches really easily here to the, uh, 
to the top. I don't have this secured down, so I'm not going to do it, but it's just a simple flap or latch, whatever you want to call it, that, uh, that attaches there, similar to their old ones. Different look to it, obviously. You've got your intake. I've put it together already. It comes in parts. It, this tube's a separate part. The strainer is two parts. And then the, the U piece on the top that screws to the hose is a separate part. Um, cool thing about it that I, li that I like, that I didn't even realize until I opened it up, is you've got some options. Um, here's your outlet um, nozzle. Comes like this, and, and so this this is the first thing, and it took me a little bit. I, the instructions, I will say, aren't very good, like like you, you would expect if you bought Aquatop or Sun Sun before. They're a little better than in the past, but not quite. Um, tell, they don't quite tell you everything, but what this is, it's pretty sweet. Um, it gives you options. You can go spray bar or um, a standard type of uh, return, and you've got the double return, so you can maneuver it around, position it, and that. But the other option that's sweet, you can hook these up. If you're into spray bars, some people like those better. And then you've got, not only do you have a spray bar, but you've got a spray bar that goes, put it in the back corner of your tank and goes along the side and along the back. So that's pretty sweet. Hopefully this is coming in, coming up in the video, but, um, Got your little caps to cap it off at the end. So I thought that was a cool option. I'm going to be going with the standard type return, but um, I like that there was a de uh, an option there um, to do something uh, different. You weren't uh, kind of stuck with what the manufacturer wants you to do or give, gave you. So, But I, I, I just like that we've even got the double um, return there because uh, most filters only have one, except for I think the Fluvals are going to have two, a lot of them, at least the FX5 and FX6 do. So I like that. You can get some water flowing in different directions, so that's pretty sweet. Um, other than that, you just got some suction cups and a couple other spare parts, um, so that's about it. But that's basically it for what uh, what comes with the unit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, wash out all the media, get this thing up and running, and I will uh, let you see the filter when it's up and running. One other thing too before I show you the filter in action, as I was starting to take apart the media trays and clean things out I realized something that is pretty cool that you don't see with every type of filter is that the ceramic media, um, it's actually in a media bag. Um, so it's easier to clean and easier, um, you know, when you're clean, I'm cleaning this out in tank water right now, but you know, usually when you service your filter and you have to do that, um, like with the marine land, for example, um, the filth, it, it's loose, so you're constantly chasing after it, trying to get it all back uh, back into your filter. Um, makes it a lot easier. Um, so another cool little feature I just thought I would mention. Okay, so we're back. I've got the, uh, the filter hooked up. You can see it's sitting down here on the floor. Um, and it had enough hose to reach the top. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty high tank uh, with the stand and everything. You can see I've got the, um, the return and the intake in there. Um, if I, if I would have had enough hose and this was like a normal situation where I could have gotten the, the filter all the way behind, I would have put this right in the middle here so we had flow going both directions, but I simply don't have that option. So. But we're going to go ahead and fire it up here, and hopefully this one-touch priming stuff works, and I can get it on camera. So let's give this a shot here, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. I'm going to have to set the camera down for just a sec. Actually, i got a cord right here I can use. Okay, we're good. Okay, so... Power strip is turned off, so give me just a second. There we go. So let's go through the self priming. Kind of loud, but it's working. Check this out. Definitely getting 
so it's taken in water. And there we go. I'm gonna shoot out a ton of micro bubbles like any filter would at the beginning here. Um, so anyway, um, pretty good now. It's kicking out a few micro bubbles here and there, but um, you know it's only been going for like two minutes, so it's got to work itself out. But anyway. Um, Overall, it seems like a great filter. Seems like it's got uh, great flow. Um, it looks cool. Um, it's got a UV sterilizer included. Um, they call it UV clarification, so what that probably tells me is that it's not powerful enough to really um, work on a tank that the, the size of what the filter is rated for, but I'll look at the directions a little bit more and read up on that. But. Anyway, um, here's here's the power the owner manual too. By the way, so they've got um, four different ones here: the AF 250, 200, 300, and 400. This is the 300 that I got. So um, no idea on what the pricing is. This is I guess they're calling it their Elite series. Um, but check them out. Um, so far, so good. I highly recommend it. And um, yeah, that's all I got for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Hope it's helpful. Ask me any questions if you'd like. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what your luck is with these if you've used them, what your thoughts are. And, uh, you know, feel free to share this video too um, to get the word out there to other people. Um, also, real quick, uh, as always, uh, please check out Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook. Um, check out the new um, Facebook group, Aquatic Support Community. And check out the uh, all the members of Team Aquatic Support on YouTube. Their links will be below. You got Mike Mann, Conway Stevens, Jeff Heiser, Sean Armentrout, Courtney Ray Black, and myself. So do us all a favor and sub up to our channels. We greatly appreciate it. We do our best to put out uh, good videos for you. And uh, other than that, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll get you another video soon.